All right, we are finally rejoining the crew of the ISS Intrepid on their shakedown uh, survey run. A uh, little background real quick. Uh, basically, new ship here, ISS Intrepid, and the crew comes together. We've got four-person crew made up of uh, our captain, Captain Burnett here. Um, and they've got backstories. You can see them in previous videos. Needless to say, she's joined the scout. Um, the scout um, organization to just get away from her home planet. Uh, and she's a rather proficient captain here. She also brought back her ex-husband. Soap opera story behind that in previous videos. To be the engineer. Uh, also brought on, and his name is Sonny, Engineer Sonny, and then we have Bob as the astrograder, and then Mary is our um, academic survey person. Okay, so we fleshed out our four-man crew. Uh, they've been tasked with beginning the initial mapping of this brand new subsector here, which we've already mapped out. Uh, just this, not too much yet, just these these details for these. They were within three, so we've at least got the densometer uh, view on it. So there's a lot of backstory, um, but boils down to they decided to uh, inspect a planet in this system just to shake down and make sure all their equipment's working the ship, run it through its cases. Uh, in this case, there is a small scout base commanded by a relative of Carol, who she doesn't get along with, so it's not the greatest. And by the same token, there was a free trader in the starport as they were leaving. Very small starport, obviously, that was just impounded by the authorities. So something fishy is going on there, which we don't know. But they were able to lift off and make the transit. Uh, during the transit, though... Something happened in the engineering plant. Sonny uh, messed up some maintenance, but luckily Bob was observing and prevented any uh, Sonny from being injured. But the backstory there is Sonny does have an addiction to something, maybe alcohol. I haven't really flushed it out yet. But nobody was injured. The ship is operational, and Bob decides not to tell the captain. So they do succeed in arriving. They left this. Uh, this is where the scout base is here. This is the system they're in now. And they did succeed in arriving here at a Mercury-type uh, planet. Thin, tainted respirator. And their task was to survey interesting microfauna. There's this ecosystem and some Steve vents. Again, give them a chance to put their equipment through the spaces. Uh, Bob scanned a planet, but they couldn't find anything closer than 33 clicks away. So Carol said, well, that's okay. We'll put the air raft through its paces, too, uh, as well as their seri uh, survey equipment. So Carol at least nailed the landing. But on the road trip, they did run into some mechanical problems with the air raft. But more importantly... Um, Something happened on the site with the microfauna, and it affected Carol. Uh, the captain's injured. I'm going to roll it as poison. Uh, she's unconscious. They did get four survey points by the Solar Zozo rules, but still. Um, and then they returned back to the ship. So what I have to resolve right now is uh, the poison effects potentially on Carol. The status of the ship and their return trip, but I did roll that last time, so they, they do make it back, but I'm still going to try. I found a vehicular damage table in the compendium, so we're going to sort that out. Ship's operational, um, and it seems like they're going to do an immediate departure and return back to the star pit, so I've got to roll for that, too. So, let's see. First things first, we will uh, take a look at uh, what happened to Carol, and we've got the poison rules, which hopefully I can find here. I think I was pulling them out of here. 
So here's the poison rules I'm going to leverage. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to run it like arsenic. Um, I guess that's how this works. And she's got to do an endurance check, but uh, luckily Mary is with them and she is medic zero. So we can do that next. Um, look at the med pack, which of course they have. So first roll is uh, what's the effect on Mary, and it's going to be a 10 plus against endurance. And if we do look, I'm uh, Carol, I'm sorry, if we do look at Carol, she does have an endurance of 11, so that does give her a plus one. So we're going to roll uh, 10 plus with a plus one, 2d6. Um, we don't need that anymore. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to roll 2d6 with a plus one. And survey says nothing. Hold on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Well, she beat it without her plus one. So... Uh, Mary doesn't have any damage. She passed the check. There's a med check. I'm going to roll her as unconscious, though. But she has no permanent effect on this. Um, so her endurance handled it, but, um, you know, I, I want to say if she is unconscious, uh, now let's. I'm going to go ahead and say, while well, this is the only roll we make, um, she's at least over it. It's not going to get worse, so she's going to get two d of damage. Let's see what we get here. Four. That's this is all doing good here. So I think it goes against her endurance. So she's lost four to endurance. But if we uh, go to the medical healing, here we go. Uh, restores a number of characteristics point equal to the effect of a medic check against education for a mac minimum, minimum of one point. Okay, so she'll at least get a minimum. Uh, so let's see here. First aid kit requires at least basic medical equipment. We got a med kit, and we assume it's initiated immediately by Mary. She's got zero, um, and it's an EDU check for Mary. Hope I'm doing this right. So let's look at Mary's education. She's got a 10, so that's a plus one. Plus one. Um, I think that's with an eight. Okay. So, and a medium, a minimum of one. So let's see how she does. She's going to get a plus one with her 2d6 against eight. Eight. That's just a one. So Mary lost three in endurance. I mean, a. Uh, Carol lost three in endurance. So I wonder how you indicate that. Um, I'm going to do it a different way here. I'm going to do minus three. And that's Carol. Okay. So she's tough. She handled it, apparently. Now, they are going to now return. So that's a good sign. She passed her endurance check, so it doesn't have a lasting impact. And while Mary kind of fumbled with the med kit, at least she's only down minus three, which uh, hopefully can be solved. They may stick around, actually. Um, but the next thing I want to roll is to see in the compendium, I think. Yeah, here we go. Vehicle mishap. The vehicle speed and subtract the driver's skill level. So at this point, uh, it's going to be Bob driving. And um, I don't see anything here necessarily about uh, driving stuff. I'm going to assume he has a zero. I mean, he's checked out on that. But he's got no pluses for it. Yeah, he's focused on sensors there, gun combat. I mean, he's a pilot, small craft. I don't know if that applies here. Navigation, mechanic. Well, he's got that too. Vehicle. Oh, that's the one. So maybe it was under vehicle. Uh, I'll just. Everybody's checked out on an air raft, so he's got to. Uh, he'll have no effect on that. <coughs> I won't worry about the speed band, so I think we'll just. Uh, 
We'll just roll against this, 2d6. Hopefully nothing drastic happens. A 9. Navigation difficulties put the vehicle in a place where there is no way forward. Back around the obstruction will take 1d hours. Okay, this uh, 33 clicks, so this does take a little time, but luckily Mary overcame. That would have been a problem. Let's do a 1d hours here. Yeah, five hours. Holy smoke. <laughs> uh, it takes five hours to get back. So let's write this down here. So, poison causes four damage, one pack for med pack. Uh, obstruction. Four hours. Five is, is that right? Yeah, whatever. No, five hours. So six hours to return. So what's our situation here? She's back. Um, there's a medical thing, but we just don't know what the poison is. So, and she's still not at full strength. Um, we can maybe say she's uh, she's still. Carol is still kind of out of it. Okay. So they are going to lift and return to the starport based on that. <coughs> um, so to do that, though, I think we're going to do a launch. And luckily, Bob is going to do it. He's got pilot zero. He's good with the spacecraft. So... Mary will tend to Carol, Sonny will watch the rest of the ship, and Bob will um, do a skill check for liftoff to see if there's any problems. Uh, I assume it's gonna, he's going to take his time, make it straightforward. So instead of an 8, I want a 6 or higher. Um, so let's see what happens. Yeah, he barely, I mean, he gets it up 7, so... No problem. They are off the ground with their points here. Uh, but now on, the, they've got to figure out their flight back here. So we'll see if they have any encounters um, as they travel back to the planet, uh, back to the to the uh, to the spaceport. Uh, there it is. That's what I wanted. So, let's see. Frontier routes, type of encounter. Um, let's see. So, uh, 2 through 8, no encounter on the way back. Uh, otherwise, they'll be on a different table. So, let's see what happens here. So, they're flying back. Let's see if they have any encounters on the way. 6, no encounters. So, uh, that looks solid, and, um, so they do get back, and then we got Bob doing a landing, but this is, uh, this will probably be an okay land, well, let's see, on route, well, we've got a certain amount of time, so we've got to decide if anything happens, if there's any events on the way back, okay? So let's see, we passed that. So the ship reactions, that's not it. So let me take a look at here, hold on. All right, so we have the onboard events table from the Zozer here. And let's see, so it's a D66. Let's go to the Vassal Mod and see if anything happens on their way back. Um, there we go. So we do again need 2d66. We get a 64. So let's see what that is. So, would you just stop? Okay. <sighs> Shipboard romance. This is a soap opera. Um, so last time I did this, I rolled for Sonny's reaction to um, Carol getting hurt 
and Sonny's got a good reaction, so now uh, I think Sonny and Carol are starting to romance again. That's an interesting romance begins anew. So if anything came out of this, um, Sonny and Carol are starting to get along again after their horrible past. Sonny still has this addiction, but was caused by Carol, so yeah. Ship of Soap Opera. Alright, well, here we go. Uh, we're going to end this now with uh, Bob landing the ship. Um, yeah, I'm not ready to start anything there. So let's see if Bob can land the ship and then uh, we'll call it a we'll sum up and call it. So this is going to be a standard six. I'll give him a plus one for taking his time. Hopefully there's no problems. Eight. He nails it. Okay. Well, he doesn't nail the ship, but he does successfully land the ship. Okay, so that was the end of their checkout here. So there we go, the next installment here. Um, Carol got poisoned by some of the fauna at the point, um, but strong endurance and a little bit of a med kit minimized the damage, but she was unconscious. They got her back to the ship, uh, and then uh, they launched with uh, Bob driving, Bob the astrogator. He successfully took the ship off, no encounters. And then Bob successfully lands the ship. Meanwhile, uh, Sonny's concerned about Carol, so that apparently is changing his view, but we've still got the problem of his addiction from before. So we'll see. The soap opera continues. What's the next step after landing? I think we're going to have to do an encounter with the base commander here and see what he says, and we're going to have to see how well Carol recovers from this. So, uh, yeah, and I'll try and flush this out otherwise. So, there we go. Leverage rules, uh, the poison rules from the uh, main rule book. I leveraged the um, vehicle mishaps from the compendium. Um, I did a skill check for the takeoff, and I did look for encounters on the way out, and we checked the trip back for anything, and then we also verified we had a safe landing at the scout base. So I'll have to calculate the time here uh, and see how many days they spent doing this, but uh, they didn't finish their survey, but we'll see if Carol gets better and how things go with the base commander since they came back so soon. and whether they're going to be able to uh, keep going on out into the rest of the subsector. So, thanks for listening. Uh, comments are appreciated. I'm kind of new to this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll, on the side, try and flush out the story some more. But, if you like, click like. Uh, otherwise, uh, subscribe for the next installment of As the ISS Intrepid Turns, or Days of the Intrepid. And we'll see from there. All right. Thanks for listening.